neat though. It smells like a like a. <laughs> It smells like grandpa's barn. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Charcoal in the wood. That ended too, didn't it? That's how we get the temperature up there. Coal by itself will only gets about 1,500 degrees without the air. Oh, that's this very is, cool. This is a railroad spike. And then this is just a half inch metal made in with a spoon. And they forge weld it right there. So this is the cabin where the men lived who actually built the sawmill. If you wonder where Sutter found men who knew how to build a sawmill, they actually started from a long ways away. They were part of the Mormons who had left Council Bluffs. Now the Mormons went this way to Salt Lake. At Fort Leavenworth, they sent soldiers to the Mexican War. So 500 men marched all the way to San Diego and the war was over. What are you making? I'm making a dowel to go in a hole. Nancy Ross, excuse me, and Peter Gooch were slaves in Missouri in the 1800s. In 1849, they were brought to California, and California wasn't sure whether it was going to become part of the United States, and one of the stipulations was whether or not the United States was going to be slave-based or not. When the choice was not, then the Californians joined. So when they, they got here in 1849, and by 1850, when California became a state, they were free. So, isn't that just a beautiful story? It is. Good morning. Everybody off. <laughs>